Welcome back. So I want to specify one more revert command or at least an option to the revert command. There are many options out there, but I think this one is, is pretty powerful. Let's say that I did not have this beautiful UI here because I'm in the terminal and I just want to go back one revert. In the UI, I could just select this guy and say revert and then I would go back to that version. But what if I wanted to do it from the terminal? Actually, by staying here, I just want to go back one version. It's very simple. If you go into your terminal and you write git revert head, you'll jump back one version. So I'll jump back from this version to the previous one. So let's try and do this. When I do it, a message pops up, just like before. And I'll just save the message as it is. Now, notice the name here, because I just did a lot of reverts just for the fun of it. It's actually a revert of a revert of a revert where I added more text. <laughs> so you can keep doing this forever because this will actually generate a new commit with the revert. Later we'll talk about rebasing to avoid this, but it'll create a new commit going back to the previous version. Meaning that you still have the history to go back to your reverts if you change your mind about the revert and want to revert that. Cool. So I'll just say this is fine, I'll save it and I'll close it down and now the revert is done and you'll notice when I open the GitHub it'll pop up with a new guy in the trail in the top. So be ready to see that. There a new guy pops up in the trail and that's actually the reverted revert that's reverted. I could do it again now if I wanted to and I'll just do that. But this time I'll add an extra command called dash dash no edit. Now when I add this extra command here or extra option here, the text dialog won't pop up. And if you are on a Mac, it wouldn't jump into WIM. So if you really don't want that one when you revert stuff, you don't want to add your own information, just use the default and silently behind the scenes, there'll still be made, a message will still be made. So I'll just do this now and notice that nothing pops up. It just adds revert of revert of revert of revert of added more text. <laughs> Crazy lot of reverts here. And if I open the, um, the GitHub desktop client again, you'll see that a new revert pops up. There we go. So here it is now reverting once more. Back to actually adding funky wonky MacDoodle to my text file. So that was all for this lesson. Now you also know about the revert head so that you can actually start going back one version of your code. See you in the next lesson.